I feel excited to be representing physicists because I am a minority. And I, I want to show young girls out there that there are women in STEM. And I want to show them that they can do it too. I'm Diana Cowern. I'm the creator of Physics Girl, a science YouTube channel. And I do science communication and outreach. I try to get the kids interested in science. No one was telling me that it was cool to love science. In fact, it was quite the opposite. But eventually, I, I met these role models. I met my science teacher. I met physicists, people who encouraged me to be curious. On Physics Girl, I get to do experiments. I get to look into fun physics topics. And I get to really dig in and have fun while trying to teach other people about science. It's like the future. Today, I want to explore the physics of this simple act. We're hoping for more observations that support inflationary theory, or whatever theory that might improve upon it. That's what we're working toward. Thanks for watching. That moment when you're sparking your curiosity and you're starting to figure out how the world works, that doesn't have to be complicated. It can be applicable to your everyday life, and it can be super exciting. I think that there are different ways of looking at the world. One way of looking at the world is through the eyes of physics. One is just kind of admiring what the world has to offer. What's really nice about working with Diana and having her to look up to is she took this passion for science that a lot of girls have and made something completely unique out of it. She has a knack for being able to take these complex scientific ideas and relate them to an everyday way of thinking that helps a lot of people understand better. There's physics in everything. There's physics in skateboarding. Looking at a skateboard and thinking, okay, well, then when that comes up in the air, it's going to fly in a parabola. And you could calculate exactly what the trajectory is going to be. You can look at when someone kicks up a skateboard or when someone goes up on a rail and knowing what part of the skateboard is touching is going to affect how fast it'll move across the rail. What's fun about physics demos is that you can show a model of the real world of something much, much bigger on a small scale. So with a plasma ball, you're showing how air can be ionized. You're making lightning, basically, in a little demo, a little small experiment. And then when you go on, when you go to the big scale, that's what lightning is. You're, you're ionizing air. The STEM wage gap between men and women is nearly 17,000 per year. An interesting little fact about my channel is that if you look at the demographics for younger ages, it's in the 30, 40% female. And then as it gets older, the numbers go down by a lot. So it's like 10% female. And that's what we see in physics too. So you see this, this pipeline, you see this loss of women in science. So what I'm hoping is that, you know, 10 years from now, I'm not gonna see that drop off. I'm gonna see girls are staying in science, girls that are interested in it when they're young, they're gonna stay with it. They're gonna keep asking questions, maintain their curiosity, and hopefully stay in science. What I do day to day is I get to play with science. I get to ask questions. I, I really enjoy what I do. It's really fun. It's exciting. It's, it's fun to be on the cutting edge. And I want to show young people that you too can do it. This is where the future is at. STEM is where the future jobs are. That's where our future of our world is going.